Good morning, GVA. Mr. Ruley here with today's edition of Storytime. Now, to finish off the school year, I have a beautiful book I've been waiting to share with you. It's by Cleo Wade. It's entitled What the Road Said. Now, this book is a little more serious than some of the books that I've read in the past, but hey, I really wanted to end with a great message about it's how it's the journey that matters in life. It's the, the complications you run into that make you who you are. It's those, those things that really add a lot of flavor to life. And so I want to start by reading a note from the author. Oftentimes you'll see in books it'll have like an author's note. And this tells you a little bit about why they wrote the book and what they hoped you'd get out of it. So I wanted to share that with you. Here's the author's note. It says, Dearest You. It's written to all of us. I wrote this book in hopes that the road can be your friend through every stage of your journey. I hope you will allow it to live with you in the world as a hug on your good days and also on the days when you might feel alone or scared, or confused by big questions. I wrote these words to encourage you, to love you, and help you on your path to becoming who you are. Great message there, isn't it? You are important, you are here on purpose, and you deserve to be the leader of your life. This is a book for children. I really needed this book as a child. But this is also a book for adults. Being a grown-up is hard, and the road reminds me to take it one day at a time. From my heart to yours, this book is for you. Love, Cleo. That's how we'll start today, with the author's note, and then we'll go right back to the very beginning with What the Road Said by Cleo Wade. Have you ever wanted to go in a different direction? Have you ever wondered if there was something more, something out there, something just different? I did too. Then one day I was walking my usual way home when, out of nowhere, for no reason at all, almost as if it were magic, a road appeared. I could not believe my eyes, so I walked over to it and... Oh, I love the watercolor. You know how much I like art. I said to the road, where do you lead? The road said, be a leader and find out. Well, that's encouraging. I like that. Well, how do I start? I asked. The road smiled and said, you've already started. Well, what happens when I get there? We've just begun, said the road. Do not skip straight to the ending. Enjoy the beginning and the middle, too. Oh, I'd take a walk out there right now. It looks beautiful. Well, which way do I go? Well, that's your choice to make, said the road. But what if I go the wrong way? The road curved a little, almost as if it was giving me a hug, and said, oh, Do not worry. Sometimes we go the wrong way on our way to the right way. Okay. It's a real poetic way to say, hey, you know what? Sometimes we all make mistakes, and that's okay, because we learn from those things, too. Well, what if I get scared? That's okay. You are brave, said the road. But what does it mean to be brave, I asked. The road guided me through a very gloomy forest. Even though I was frightened, I trusted the road. And as I took one step and then another step after that, the road gently whispered, Being brave is when you are afraid of doing something, but you do it anyway. Do not let what scares you keep you from continuing on your path. So much depth in that picture there. I love it. Will I always move forward? Not always, said the road. Well, why not? Because sometimes you will stumble backward, and sometimes you will stand still. Well, what if I fall? Everyone falls at some point, said the road, but I will always be there when you land. What if I get lost? Well, there may be some days that feel long and dark, said the road, but I promise that no matter what, I will give you the evening stars and morning sun to light your way. Well, what if I grow weary or get hurt? I will give you trees of all shapes and sizes to shelter you when you need to rest and heal, said the road. It's a beautiful sky up there, isn't it? What if I get lonely? Well, you're never alone, said the road. Well, 
what if I change? Come with me, said the road. And as I moved forward, the road introduced me to a caterpillar and a family of seeds. Do, do caterpillars change? Well, what do they change into? What about seeds? What do they change into? What if I need help on my journey? Ask your fellow travelers along the way. Oh, what if they're mean to me? Lead them to kindness, said the road. Well, how? By being kind. What if they want to fight? Lead, the, lead them to peace, said the road. But how do I lead them to peace? By listening to their stories, telling them yours, and reminding them that you are all on this journey together. Well, what if the world around us is filled with hate? Lead it to love. Well, how? By sharing the power of your love with it, said the road. What if something unexpected happens? Keep going. What if there are mountains that feel too tall to climb? What if there are rivers that feel too wide to cross? What if I get my heart broken? What if I feel stuck? What if giving up is easier? Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, said the road. What if I can't do it? You can, said the road. Well, how do you know? Well, because you've come this far, said the road. I said to the road, where do you lead? The road said, be a leader and find out. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that very encouraging story, what the road said, and I hope you enjoy your journey. Well, folks, it's all for me today. Take good care.